Hello everybody, welcome back to From the Ash. Good to have you here for another video. We are heading today, me and Joe, we were in our home in Oxfordshire and we were pottering around a little bit and sort of thinking, right, what should we do today? Joe did the park run this morning as normal and I sat on my bench as normal and listened to my podcast. But after that we were a bit like, oh, we've got a whole day free, what should we go and do? We live in Oxfordshire, which is about, well, 60, 70 miles away from central London. So we thought what we would do today is head into central London and do one of these markets that everybody keeps vlogging. There's been a lot of vlogs recently, particularly on my YouTube feed, where it's been people going to like Camden Market and Borough Market and Greenwich Market, getting all the tasty food, looking around the shops, etc. and so on. And me and Joe are always saying, oh, we'd love to go and do that. We've got to do that one day when we've got a free day. Today we have a free day, so we're going to go and do it. We're heading today to Borough Market, which is in central London. I've booked a parking space near Waterloo Station, so we're going to park up there. And uh, yeah, we're about an hour away. So, see you in central London for a Borough Market vlog. Market, and this right here is the famous humble crumble however we haven't had a savory yet so we're gonna have a bit of lunch first and then we're gonna join the mammoth queue that goes all the way around the corner that way and sort of blends into the crowd that way I'm not here for that. no you're not doing it Joe's saying no everyone toasted marshmallow on the top nice these steps remind me of a New York Joe Times Square we've got steps there where you can sit and eat your food very very busy wow it just keeps going on and on and on look at that you've got some fresh strawberries going on here oh look at these look at these oh my word if you want some juice they got you covered right choice number one we're going for the paella from Bomba Paella here I'll give you a fork a spork Spork, yeah, it's a spork. Meal number one from Borough Market from some paella. Jonah, we like paella, don't we? Yeah. We had paella at our wedding. What is this? Like a seafood one? Chicken yeah, and chicken. seafood. Okay. Ten pounds. Ten pounds, not bad. Let's give it a go. Yeah, good. Very flavoursome. It's taken on the flavour of the seafood nicely. I think you'll enjoy this one, Joe. It's very seafoody. It's got squids. Yeah, a bit of squid, a few mussels. What do you think? Like it? We decided that while we were here, we would try four different food stands. We're going to choose two each, a staff, like a, a main meal, like a savoury and a sweet one. Well, they are, the bamboo bowls. So we're going to choose a savoury and a sweet each, although I'm not big into sweet food, so I might choose two savoury things. But that's the plan. This was Joe's choice, the paella. Right, we've stood over here and had our main. Now we're going to walk across the road to this one which is called Bread Ahead Donuts, and we're gonna get ourselves a little donut. Driving through here must be the worst yeah. thing. Why, why? You just why? wouldn't, if you saw the sat nav bring you this way, you would just go a different route, wouldn't you? Oh, Joe, look, when you just, even just this loaf of bread. Yeah, large. Look at this, so many treats on offer. This looks very, very good. I think this is gonna be a good choice. They've got some nice cinnamon swirls. That looks like some sort of coconut based one. They've got a tower of brownies. Oh, I love, I do love an almond croissant. We're gonna to have to get a donut though, aren't we? I think let's go and see what donuts they have. If you do get one of these donuts, there are two stations. There's one there, there's one there. That whole building behind it is the bakery. So they bake them fresh in there, bring them out to one of the two stands. And the queue was quite long. We queued all the way back to where that van is. But it went down in like, what was it? Like two minutes, wasn't it? Really, really quick. So don't be put off by a long queue. Lovely tea shop over there. See this sort of market, Joe, it's, it's not only just for hot food, is it? You can get your 
get your cured meats here. Nice cheese one over there. They've got it. Oh, oh, look, you can even get all your fresh fruit here. What have they got? What is that? Rainbow? What's that rainbow thing there? Rainbow. Is that fruit? No, it can't be. Joe's going for a real coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, what does it do? Put a straw in it or something? Yeah, oh, cool. No. All right, we'll give that a go. Do you want to try anything? Well, I just wish they did this stuff like more commonly because we always just get pear, don't yeah, we? Pears and apples. And... Get one to try. Yeah. No, it's all right. Seven, seven pounds, quite a lot for it one is, dragon fruit. You get this white one, size 50. Yeah, but... And I can put it in here. Don't worry, don't worry. It's, it's just snake it... fruit, snake fruit. Wow, look at star that. Fruit. Look at the star fruit. Don't get these in Tesco, do you? No. Oh, have you tried it already? I just tried it. It's really nice. Nice, is it? Better than the coconut juice you get in a bottle. Yeah? Let's have a bash. I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but nice. that is so fresh. Yeah. That is just literally chopped in and you can just drink straight out and of it. And you can eat that coconut mm. inside. Can you? Can we eat it? The inside bit. Oh, nice. That's a winner. I think that's a, You wouldn't expect to hear this from me, would you? I think it's the best thing we've had so far. Here we go. We've joined another queue. I can't really explain what it is we're queuing for, so I'll just show you the menu when we get up to the front. There you go. This is what we're going for. We're going to have one of these bad boys, honey truffle parmesan in a chia batter. If you are going to come to the Black Pig for one of these, bring your own container, 10% off. There we go, this is the one we've gone for, the Black Pig. Free range pork. It's a machine here. Yeah. This is that barbecue that your parents have got, isn't it? The yeah. green egg. Look at that, speed, efficiency, precision, and a glorious result. I don't know what it is. Okay, it let's go up the steps. Wow, this is cool up here. We've ordered, what was it? Honey truffle parmesan yeah. chia batter. With chili. With chili. Mm. So good, so many flavors. Somehow tastes really fresh. I think that's all the green stuff inside. Parmesan's nice and strong. When you come to these markets, you want to try something a bit different, don't you? Instead of just getting a breakfast. On the way here, Joe was like, you're just going to get a breakfast. So I was tempted, but then saw this, and I don't regret my choice. Oh look, you can see the queue for the humble crumble. <laughs> that's what. That's the next queue we'll be still yeah. in. Are we going to go for a humble crumble? Yeah, we'll get that next. We're going to have a humble crumble afterwards, which is the big Instagram one, but this is our final savoury choice of this market. Yeah. And it's a winner. Do you eat that one? We could do that, yeah. Wait, which one did you eat, this one? I just took a bite out of both. I thought it was one sandwich. Is it two sandwiches? We're wondering if it's one sandwich or if it's two. Maybe it is two. That's the same. Same. Yeah, no, no, I know that, but is it supposed to be in two parts? Oh, okay, so I'll just eat this one, you eat that one then. Perfect. There you go, that's why it was too big for my mouth, I was eating them together. We come right up to the top, I'll show you. Because down there is where the market is, and up at the top where we are here, there's these benches along the side, as you can see, here. And you can grab some seats up here, but they're a bit hidden. We've had three things so far. Let's go to the fourth. We're going to get some humble crumble famous from tiktok instagram all of those things i think isn't it if there's a big queue for something and you really want it don't be put off by the queue just get in it because they've all the longest queue we've done was for that food there we just had and that was five minute queue so don't worry about queues they go quick anyway humble crumble let's go <laughs> joe 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 can we do we <laughs> this is ridiculous look at this this is really quite long it's not worth it. What? Toasted marshmallow on the top. Got to the menu. What are you what are you gonna have? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have mixed berry, classic shortbread, pure vanilla custard. But it's, having, it's a standard, isn't it? But cinnamon. Which one are you having? I've not tried rhubarb, strawberry and raspberry. That might be nice. That's nah. with ginger and brown sugar. Nah. Apple and cinnamon, with... superfood granola. Oh, that's a bit out there. Yeah. 50p and extra for you know that. me. You do like to go out there. What about this one? On top. Which one? Blowtorch one. Wow. You're going rogue. I'm going for the most classic one, and you're going for the most rogue one. We've reached the front, finally. Build your crumble. Build my crumble. I'll have uh, you're going for mixed, mixed berry. berry. Have a classic shortbread. And then, oh, and then hot custard. You know it, what it's like though, when it's um, bigged up on Instagram and stuff, you wonder if it's actually going to be worth the hype, but I guess we're going to find out. We almost didn't go for it because the queue was so long, but 
decided to go for it. I'm trying to stay in frame, but Joe's holding the camera weird. Did you guys like any complimentary toppings on either oh, of these? Yes, on my one, could I have some hazelnuts and some almonds, please? Some almonds and for you? Could I have some rose petals and meringue? Rose petals? Ah. Beautiful. 20 minute wait, we've got them. There's Joe's. Joe's gone a bit alternative with hers. I've gone for more of the classic crumble vibe. Have you tried it already? Um, yep. Yeah. Go on, let's have a little. Nice um, toasted, toasted marshmallow on the top. Nice. Also, Joe and I managed to score some of the seats here. There's only a few seats outside the humble crumble, which is just there, but we've got two of them here. Is it good? It's a classic mixed berry with custard. So good. Worth the wait. When you've waited that long, to be fair, I think anything would taste good. It was only 20 minutes. Yeah. It was only 20 minutes, not too bad. What is this stuff? Marshmallow. The, the marshmallow really works. And he blowtorched it, as you saw, which was a nice touch. Nice. Yours is a little bit more sickly. Now, when I was in the queue for this, I texted my sister Grace, who's been here before, and said, how long is the queue? And she said, it's a long queue at this one, at Borough Market, but if you go to, what was the other market called? Spitalfields. Spitalfields Market. Uh, they've got a humble crumble there, and the queue is shorter. So if you're up against it time-wise, but you want to come into London, try the humble crumble, go to Spitalfields maybe, but actually, like I say, 20 minutes, I think it was, wasn't it? Not too bad. Everybody was in good spirits in the queue, and everybody was excited, and you can see why. We've been here for probably three hours, something like that, two, three hours. So you could easily spend a day just pottering around and trying things. Come with a big budget, come with some time, be patient and enjoy. Look at that, one second later, I come back with more custard. You can, she said, I, I said to her, am I allowed to jump the queue and just get some custard? And she said, oh, you're not jumping the queue, it's fine. So I guess if you want more custard, you can kind of just nudge your way to the front and get a top up. There we go, guys. That was Borough Market. We did as much food as we could fit in. Joe, what was your favorite one? We had all that food, but what's your favorite thing? Um, the paella. Joe's gone with the first thing we had, the paella. I think my favorite thing was probably, well, it has to be the crumble, I think for me. I enjoyed all of them. Crumble was nice, paella was nice, the coconut water was good, the chia batter was good. What else did we have? Oh, the donut, that was also very nice. It was all good, it was a winner across the board. Best thing for me was the crumble. I think probably because of the weight and the anticipation and the hype, but it lived up to the hype, it was very, very good. This right here, guys, is Monument. That is literally what it's called. Joe, do you know what this is for? No. This was designed yeah. because this right here, where we are right now, is where the Great Fire of London started. And they made this to commemorate it, and it is massive. I have actually been up to the top. You can, there's steps inside. And if you look at this sign here, which is just across from the monument, which is right there, near this site stood the shop belonging to Thomas Ferner, where the Great Fire of 1666 began. So right here, where this building now stands is where Great Fire of London began. We are in front now of this building right here. I oh, can't see it very well on camera, hold on, hold on. There it is, the Gherkin, the famous Gherkin. And we're here because we're walking from, we were at Borough Market, we just walked across London Bridge. And we're walking now to the, what's the market called? Spitalfields Market, we're going to Spitalfields Market now because people said that's another one that's worth checking out. Don't know a lot about it actually. I think they do food as well. They've got a humble crumble there, but we're gonna go and check it out and see uh, see what's what. We are having an absolutely lovely day, aren't we? Walking around London, enjoying the sun. It's a privilege to be living so close to London now. Back when I was a kid, growing up in North Devon, if you wanted to come to London, it was like a four hour drive, four hour drive back. So you couldn't really do a day trip. But living in Oxford, it's, it's virtually on our doorstep. So yeah, really enjoying today. Oh, here we go. It's an indoor one. That's why we couldn't find it. We're here, we're Spitalfields. Different sort of vibe, this one. Bit more, more like clothes and stuff. Some food as well, obviously. I'm sure we'll get to that. Some leather belts there. Plenty of floral blouses. Not in the market for a floral blouse today though or a leather jacket, so I'll have to give these a miss. I mean, I'm sure this market is good. I'm sure it's good, but I think we've come right at the end of the day, so it's very, very quiet. 
hardly any people here, not a lot of atmosphere. Everybody that is here now is sort of sitting down and having their post, you know, day out drink, which is what I fancy, but Joe's, Joe's not on board with that. So I don't know what we're gonna do next, but Spitalfields, mm, it's okay. Oh, it is much bigger than we thought. There's loads more stuff in this bit. Here you go, this is, this is where the people are, Joe. You get a little carbonara, a little bolognese or something. What have we got along here? Ah, see, this is what I wanted earlier, Joe. They got burgers right here. Burgers. Oh, and the humble crumble again. There's humble crumble. We've already had. We've already had this today. We're both exhausted. Joe's got shoulder pain because she's got a bad yeah. wisdom tooth, haven't you? So we decided to sit here on the side of the road, on some steps, have a bottle of water, a couple of ibuprofen, and just have a bit of a chill. And that is what we're doing. So I'm going to end the vlog there. It was Borough Market was amazing. Really enjoyed that. Spitalfields probably would have been better if we were all more in the mindset for it. But I think Borough Market and the walk here really took it out of us. So we might have to do this one again, I think. Do it properly, have some food and enjoy it. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.